Hi my peeps, what's up Wagwan? So guys, I'm gonna make a cake stand. But the cake stand I'm gonna make, I have to order it because it's a round one and then I'm gonna decorate it. It's coming from Amazon. It's gonna take a few days. So I came down to the basement guys and I found these foam. You know when you when you buy something and you have these foam left over and i have this long piece so what i'm gonna do i place this mirror on it i got it from the dollar store i think i paid two dollar and i cut it a little bigger than the mirror but if you have a mirror that's this big then woohoo that would be ideal when you cut this part out guys you need to cover it i'm gonna just use a piece of cardboard well i'm gonna use two the thinner part i'm just gonna glue it on the outer part and then the smaller part will be on the inside just to give it a little bit more support i'm gonna do four of these in silver so i can make little legs you need your scissors your glue gun and your glue sticks So with the smaller piece, you want to measure it like that. We're just going to glue these two pieces together. Once you have it like this, you can just secure it with your hot glue gun. And now we're gonna glue this in place. of bling um, it's called craft adhesive and I'm gonna try it out a little bit and see I'm gonna line right around so first you want to go ahead and you want to cut out four piece for the four sides You just want to peel it off and you want to stick it on. Can you see that guys? You want to make sure it's even in the middle. And I'm just gonna draw a little mark. This mark will let me know that I should put my mirror right in the middle there. All right, I'm gonna use some of my Gorilla Glue with a little bit of the E6000 and I'm gonna glue it. And make sure to take the little piece of foam off um, the mirror.
so I'm gonna get my acrylic paint and I'm just gonna add a little bit I'm gonna leave this to dry now I'm gonna put these on and I'm gonna put them in the corners Just like that guys just in the corners and now with this decorative mesh I'm gonna grab two rows and I'm gonna add it alongside here Just like that guys I'm gonna do the rest of them now I'm gonna add this piece right around here in the middle We're gonna make the legs and I went ahead and I paint this then I add some Mod Podge and some glitter and I'm gonna add this little bit of rhinestone around it all right now I have this brooch um, from the dollar store it's two dollar at a dollar store and I'm gonna take it out I'm gonna take this part off and then I'm gonna glue it right about here I'm just adding a few pieces of these stickers they are like for weddings and fancy occasion and I'm just adding some along this part here and so my peeps look at this wow wow I'm stunned I'm super excited all right guys I add a little bit of decorative piece to it some blings and guys look how gorgeous this is look at the details on it look how blingy look at that guys and I add legs to it and in total the height is five inches and the width is 11 inches so it's a quite a big big square um cake stand so you can add a round cake to this you can add a square cake to this you can stack them up or you can use this piece for a pastry decorative piece or guys if you're doing makeup if you're doing DIY you can add stuff to this and use it as a tray as well 
so if you have your bathroom or your dresser and you want to add some perfume to this you can turn it into a glam perfume tray whatever you want guys whatever you want if you're in the kitchen and you want to tap on some fruits on it you can do that as well pastry display piece guys and this is good for a wedding any grand anniversary wow it's so blingy and nice good for wedding guys yes yes and this is the final result guys wow 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 super awesome you can add whatever you want to it mm. look at that details on it guys And that's it all right guys love upon me and i love upon you please remember to like and subscribe to my channel bye guys